Hi, welcome to the Rock and Roll Painter Show. My name is J.D. Wayne, and I am the Rock and Roll Painter. A few years ago, when I got started in the world of art instruction, I did some demonstrations around town where I painted some music. And I soon discovered I could paint an entire painting in the framework of one song. So I put on the top hat, put on the sunglasses, and the rock and roll painting was born. But in this environment here, there's some copyright issues regarding music, so we're just going to show you how you can do a painting today. Okay, hi, welcome to another episode of The Rock and Roll Painter. We're going to have a fun day today. We've got something different going here. Uh, this painting is going to be called Old Boots Never Die. Um, last summer I was out in Sedona, Arizona with some friends, Kathy, Catherine and uh, Gary, working on some paintings, and Helene and Brenda and Kathy and Cindy, a bunch of us. But we came up with this painting. This is going to be um, some f a floral arrangement coming out of this boot. Now what I did at first here, this is all acrylic paint up here. This is dry. I had some yellow ochre, some cad yellow, some titanium white. One up here to get the light source into some uh, some cad red medium, some sienna, even some Van Dyke brown. Kind of gives some, some light source. And like I say, this is acrylic. You can paint oil paint over acrylic with no problem. Then with some carbon paper, I took the boot and just drew my boot on here. Okay, with that, let's see what we can do to create this painting. It's called Old Boots Never Die. It's just uh, the illusion of somebody took an old boot and made a planner out of it. Okay, let's start with a little flat brush here. Let's get a little bit of a, a little bit of my thinner into some sienna. Get a thinned down version of sienna. Let's see if we can create, paint this boot in. Just got a light, light coat of sienna. I want to get this boot kind of painted in. So this is dark sienna, burnt sienna. We're gonna come in with some darks and lights and bring this boot to life. I just wanna get some color up here, some base color to work with. Just wanna be careful to keep it in those lines that we drew for that boot. Most paintings we do, we don't have any kind of template, but we wanna keep a good looking shape. And when I do classes, it helps to have a template like that so people can uh, not have to worry about whether they can draw a boot. Get that boot shape down here, some more of the sienna. Got the heel of that boot. So this was a real fun painting when I created it out there in Sedona. I had a real great time learning to paint some florals out there with Gary and Catherine. And we came up with this painting. Get that sienna going nice and nice and loose. Might give a little bit of color on that heel, even though it's going to be dark, but we'll, we'll go ahead and get some base color on him here. Get some base color in. Now the same brush, I'm going to go with a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. A little bit of Van Dyke Brown. It's going to show some of the shadows, some of the deep crevices in this boot, where that boot's kind of slouched over time. There's some shadowing here, some shadowing there, a little bit of shadowing here. Maybe a little bit along the top edge of that boot. It always seems to be a little darker there where those two, the top part and the bottom part kind of come together. Back here at the heel, since it's out of the light source, it'd be dark and you have some dark shadow along that there. Maybe some more shadow along there. Now we're gonna take a, a little mop brush, just kind of break up, just kind of break up some of those hard edges on that. Kind of break up some of those hard edges, and it also helps give it a little rough, a rough kind of look to it. A rough kind of look. Now we even take a paper towel, kind of crumple up a paper towel, kind of hit this in a couple spots. Now you can do more to give a rough, rough look to that old weathered boot. Then I'm gonna take a little, little liner brush, a little bit of black. So I know down in here that there'd be some deep, deep shadows down in here where this is out of the light. Kind of soften that up. Sometimes you can take your best blending brush in the world. Sometimes your finger kind of gives a nice soft work to the look to that. And along that main seam there, some dark sh color and even this uh, bootstrap. This bootstrap, let's get that bootstrap. Showing, kind of blend that in a little bit. Got to wipe my finger off. Now we need just a little bit of highlight. Well, we need to, I guess we need to get that. Let me get one more flat brush here. 
Well, I'll just use a liner brush. We'll use this brush. We need to get that heel colored in. Didn't have my right brush, but we need to get some, some dark color on that heel. The heel of that boot. Maybe that little piece there be shiny through there. And then we need some grayish kind of color to show that sole of that boot. So I'll just get my liner brush again, a little bit of black, a little bit of white, come up with a grayish kind of color. Let's see if we can show that, show the sole of that boot. We get right around there in the front. It might be a little bit of light, so we can go just a little, a little brighter with the front of that boot. And you might have a little bit of highlight on that scene. A little bit of highlight there, a little bit of highlight. A little bit of highlight here and there. Once again, like I say, I like, I don't know, using your finger, give a little bit of highlight there. Maybe a little bit of highlight. And on the front of those boots, it seems like they always have a little bit of a, a little bit of a design. So we'll just give a little, the illusion of that. Like I say, this is just, just gonna be the vase for our flowers. So we got that boot in there. That kind of looks good. Once we get all the flowers going under that boot, it'll really kind of set in the background. You won't see it much. But I need a little shadow with that boot. Let's go with a little bit of the brown, a little bit of dioxin purple, dioxazine. Let's create just a loose shadow. Let's get some more of that brown, some of that purple. Get right up to the bottom of that boot. Loosely, loosely put it in shadow. Some brown, some purple. Get a little bit of shadow going there. Like, you know, like I said, that best blending brush you ever made was that brush your mama gave you, that blending brush right there. There we go, a little bit. Sets that boot right on the ground by doing that. Sets that boot on the ground. Let me clean my fingers up, clean my blending brush up. All right, let's see what we can do to create some foliage, some stuff growing out of that boot. Taking that little flat brush, let's get a little bit of a, a little bit of sap green, a little bit of yellow ochre, maybe a little bit of white. Color value is what's important here. Let's get a little bit thinner here. This stuff growing in the back of this boot wouldn't be very dark. Needs more green with that. Because it's, it's kind of just in the back. We just need to hint a suggestion of some stuff growing out there, some stuff growing out of the back of that boot. Like I said, you don't want to see every little leaf. You just want to know there's stuff back here. There's stuff, and it's color value is what's important. With that same brush, I'm gonna go with a little bit of cerulean blue, a little bit of white. Maybe a little bit more blue with that. Once again, it's color value. It's not what's important, not detail. You just want to see, you want to see some stuff growing out of the back of that boot. You want to see some stuff. So you don't want to see every leaf, you just want the feeling of something going on back there. Just the feeling. You might even have some of these leaves kind of growing off the side of that boot. Growing off the back. See, that's just stuff. It's just some stuff back there. Once again, to get some more color. Get some more color. As we come forward, these leaves are becoming more, more pronounced, more value to them. Let's get a leaf growing here. Just some leaves growing, just, just some stuff at this point. Now we're going to start, well, let's first, let's uh, decide where some of these leaves are going to be. Get a little bit of our dark color, a little bit of brown. Might have some, some of this action going on that some of those leaves are attached to. I want a couple big leaves down here in the front. So I'm going to have, have some vines kind of growing down in the front here. Have a couple big leaves. Let's go back and get some, get some green, some blue, some, some mauve. Let's have a big old leaf growing here. I shape that leaf. Get some more of those colors. Have another leaf kind of growing right here. Just kind of get some color in, and then kind of shape that leaf. Kind of get a little leaf, leaf, little leaf shape. Another little leaf back over here. Let's kind of get some color on. Kind of shape that leaf. Maybe one right there even. So get that color on. Since that's way down front, we want to make sure you can see, see some little bit of detail in that leaf. 
Get that leaf going down. Let's clean that brush up a little bit. Might have a little bit of highlight on some of those leaves so we get some yellow and a little bit of white. You might have a little bit of highlight on this side of those leaves. A little bit of highlight. Need to clean that brush up a little bit more. Get some more of that yellow. I want some straight yellow coming through there. There we go. You can see a little highlight on them leaves. Those leaves are right out here where they'd be catching some of the light. Yeah, a little bit of highlight. A little, little more highlight. A little more highlight there. There we go. Shape those leaves. Now I see a big, a big old rose right there. A big old old fashioned rose. There's a lot of little different kind of roses and thousands of different types of roses. This is not going to be a photographic uh, quality. It's not going to be abstract, but we're going to get the feeling of a rose here. We're going to get a nice, nice feeling of a rose. So we're going to start with some uh, alizarin crimson. I want a nice loose, nice loose kind of feel to this rose. It's an old fashioned rose. They got a lot of leaves growing on. It's one of the easiest ones to kind of paint because they're, they're so uh, loose and free that you can be sloppy with them and still look like a rose. You can see there, I already got the feeling of a rose going on there. I already got the feeling of a rose. And that's what we want. Nice and loose around those edges. Let's come in with a little bit of mauve, a little bit of dioxin purple. This rose is kind of kind of hang it down a little bit, so the center of that row is going to be about right there. Just kind of leaning over. Let me get some of that dark color out of my brush. Dry that, dry that brush off. Got some paper towels around here somewhere. Now I'm going to come in with some CAD red medium. I'll load that brush up. I'm just going to kind of start spinning this. Spinning this rose out. You may not see a lot of the color yet, but the brush strokes along with the value we're going to start what's reading a rose. Like I say, it's the color, the value, and the brush strokes is what you're going to start seeing a rose. As my colors get a little bit lighter, you really see those leaves starting to really come alive. But right now I'm just getting a little bit of the action, get some of the, setting up some of the brush strokes. On this side of the flower, the brush strokes will be nice and tight. The petals will be nice and tight over here because you're seeing the other side of the rose. Looks like nice and loose, nice and free. Now we're going to come up with a little bit lighter value, a little bit lighter. Really get, start giving some highlight to some of those petals, some of those leaves, so you can really see this rose just start jumping off, jumping off the canvas. So this is an old-fashioned rose, has just lots and lots of petals. Like I say, this is going to be a little bit abstract, a little bit of not quite photorealism, but not quite total abstract. But as long as you can look at it, and your eye sees rose, then I did okay. And I'm looking, I'm seeing a rose there. I can't wait to see how this look, reads on the camera to see if it's reading a rose up here too. Like I say, nice and loose on those edges, but really reads rose. I'm liking the way that's looking. Get some more of that cad red. Light, show some of those petals on that side. Now to really light that up, let's go with some yellow. Let me get that brush clean. If we got a light source on this side, you might see a little, little bit of highlight. And you never highlight red with white because it just turns pink. The highlight color for red is yellow. So we get a little bit of highlight on that side. Just a little bit, just so it reads a rose. And once it reads rose, you need to get out of there. Let's go with a little bit, back with our purple and our mauve and our sienna. Just get a little bit more shadow between some of those petals down here. A little bit more shadow. Since that side is out of the out of the direct light, you might see some shadow between between some of them petals. But there, that's reading road, and that's what we want it to read. We got a couple more things to do. But once again, it's amazing how oil paint can get all over you. See, we got a little bit of time. Let's create a couple, add a couple little daisies with this. We got a uh, filbert brush for that. Let's go with a little bit of a a little bit of cerulean blue and a little bit of white just to give the petals on the other side. You want a little bit of a bluish kind of color. Let's say we got a daisy right here. Say so these petals are on the other side, so they're going to end up blue. We're going to put some highlight on the ones in the front of us. Let's say we got another little daisy right there. Maybe we got one kind of hanging even down from the front. So we'll put a little bit of color 
right there. Now we need a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red, come with the orange kind of color. I'm gonna put a button inside those daisies. Put a button in there, and a button in there. Now we'll come in with just straight white. And those petals that are closest to you are gonna be white. And the blue ones are gonna be the ones on the other side. Get a little, little color on this one. Let's see, we got a little, some of those petals are growing up. Let's see if we can get a little bit of, a couple little white petals on that guy. Those are some four short petals that are kind of growing out in front of you there. Now we need to attach those to something. Those, those days are kind of just hanging out there. Let's get some of that dark color. Get a vine or a stem. Stem kind of growing up here. A couple more stems growing out. And we got a little bit of time. Let's put let's put a bud in there. We need a bud. Let's go. Let's go with a uh, where's a the brush we had. There's a the brush we had. Let's go with a little bit of this. A little bit of scared red medium. See if we got a bud there. And let's say there's one hanging down over here. There's a bud. Bud hanging there. Now we'll go back with a little bit of our cad red light. A little bit of yellow. You get a little bit of a little bit of highlight in that. A little bit of highlight. So you can see there's some leaves. Some petals starting to open up. Let's go back with some green. Some greenish kind of color, some green and some yellow and put the, uh, some leaves around that. Kind of pull him in, make that a little bit greener. That's out front where you can see it. And some, I think that's called the calyx. Put some green on that. And I think it turned out pretty good. Let's put just a couple more, a couple more little light colored leaves in the front. Just kind of break up some of that dark. Look a little lighter yet, a little lighter. Some. Some yellow ochre and some cad yellow, maybe a little bit of white, just to break up some of that dark. Got a leaf growing there. And a leaf growing there. And maybe a leaf growing there. Let's get some of that light. And kind of shape that leaf in. So those leaves are over the other leaves, kind of get some nice depth to it again. And there we go. I think we uh we were successful with this. I was worried about this painting where that boot and everything would work, but that's old boots never die. Now my favorite thing to do with a painting is to find my liner brush, get a little bit of my dark color, and I'm gonna put my JDW down here. There you go, old boots never die. Now I get my hands clean, you know what I like to do? I like to, uh, like to see a painting into a frame. I really like how that rose turned out. You never know going into taping, going on TV, if it's going to turn out for you, but I'm happy with that rose. If it says rose, if it reads rose, I'm satisfied with it. All right, let's pull this out of here. Let's take it over and put it in a can, but put it in the frame. Okay, like I say, I always love to see a finished painting into a frame. Let's go ahead and drop that in. Put my little speed clips in there. Drop that in. Pop that up and well, I really like how that turned out. Old boots never die. And once again, if you would like to learn more about painting or to take any of my classes, feel free to contact me at jdwayne at therockandrollpainter.com. Once again, thanks for watching. See you next time.